What's up guys? Big D Wiz, old school stereo.com. What do we have here? This is not car audio, my friends. This is home audio. And why might you ask, are we talking about home audio? Well, you'll find out soon enough. Here we have an NAD preamplifier. This is the model 1130. And the reason we picked this up is to drive our iPod for the amp amplifier test. And I'm gonna show you shortly how good of a job this preamp does. Essentially what it does is, is a line driver for the, um, for the iPod. So you can just see here we've got a large volume which is analog which is really nice so you've got lots of detail between each of the adjustments we got some loudness and low level buttons here and the ability to go between several different inputs we're not going to use anything except for the cd input old school tape monitor we also have a mono button which is kind of nice so that'll sum the um, the output so make sure both of the outputs are the same and I'm not sure, I have to look in the manual what these other two are. Uh, obviously bass and treble, and there's headphone. You can see the unit's actually on right now. So I'll turn it around and show you the back. And here's the back of the NAD preamp. You can see we've got two unswitched power outlets. We have two switched. And then we have various RCA inputs and outputs. Now, Something that's very interesting about this particular preamp is you'll notice here we have a normal out and we have a high out. And why might you say is there two different outputs? Well, we will show you in a minute using the oscilloscope. But basically, uh, the high outs provide up to 15 volts of output. So it gives you lots of um, clean power going to your amplifiers. The normal out is supposed to give around 12 or so volts. We'll see how it does with the iPod. So there you have it. Just a quick overview of the NAD NAD 1130. Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to use it. So here we have the NAD preamp on the little temporary bench. As you can see we have the oscilloscope and we also have the SMD DD1 hooked up and we just have the iPod. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the difference between using an iPod, using the regular outputs of this preamp and also using the high outputs. So let's start with the iPod first. All right, so here we have the iPod hooked up directly to the DD1 and we're also going to hook it up to the O-scope and you may not be able to see the screen here because it doesn't light up all the time but we've got the 40 Hertz test tone from the DD1 disc and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the volume control just on the iPod and we're going to see what kind of level we get out of it. So we've got the O-scope hooked up, center positive and the outer is the, uh, the shield is the ground. So let's see if I can hold this and do this all at once. So we're going to turn the volume up. You can see the DD1 doesn't show distortion, but we're under a volt. It's putting out 0.91 volts. So that's not a lot of output to go straight into an amplifier. 0.91 volts, no distortion. So that tells you the iPod is clean all the way to, um, to maximum output. Next, we'll try the regular outputs on the NAD preamp. Okay, so now we have the NAD regular outputs going to both the DD1 and the O-scope. And what I'm gonna do is try not to get in your way here so we can see what it'll do. Turn it up, it's about 
almost half volume. And my probe slipped off, sorry about that. See, so we finally get the 40 hertz detect. Keep going, it's getting way up there. Okay, that's maximum volume on the preamp. I got 4.3 volts and we still have no distortion. So that's the regular preamp outputs on this unit. But like I said, it does have high voltage preamp outputs. So let's try those next and see what those will do. Okay, now we have the high voltage preamp outputs out of the NAD1130 hooked up. We've also got the DD1 connected as well as the oscilloscope. So let's crank up the volume and we'll see what kind of voltage we get out before we get distortion. You can see we're already over, look at that, over seven volts, eight. Check that out. Okay, finally see distortion, back it down a little bit. Back it down just a little bit. It looks like right about there, 15.1 volts, somewhere between 15.1 and 15.4 volts of clean output using the high level. This is a nice line driver, so that's great. That's exactly what we need it for for testing the amplifiers. All right, guys, there you have it. My quick little overview of an NAD preamp, the 1130 model, just to show you how I'm gonna use this with Tesla amplifiers, since it's got such a clean line driver RCA output. We're gonna use it for testing the amp, so that's great. Now I know, you know, this iPod probably isn't the best source, especially coming out of the headphone jack, but as you just noticed, I mean, we got 15 volts of clean output, and that was verified by the O-scope as well as the DD-1. So pretty confident that this is providing a clean source for testing the amplifiers. So there you have it, the NAD 1130 preamp. This is Big D Wiz, oldschoolstereo.com. I'm out of here.